What if robots could do something like this? Or this? In Livorno, Italy, a team of researchers is taking inspiration for their aquatic robots from an octopus. And thanks to some clever biomimicry, they're doing it with much less computing power than you might imagine. One day, flexible electronics and smart control mechanisms could let robots venture off the assembly line. These soft robots could explore rough terrain and manipulate whatever objects they find. Meet Octobot, or Robopus. To build this octopus-inspired robot, Cecilia Lasky and her team copied the animal's unusual physique and method of movement. The octopus has no bones and no exoskeleton, but its softness doesn't mean that it's weak. By activating different combinations of muscles, the octopus can stiffen specific parts of its arms to apply force. It can also elongate or shorten its arms. To mimic this ability, Lasky's team used coils of wire inside some of the octobot's arms made from a material called shape memory alloy. When current passes through a coil, it heats up and takes a certain predetermined shape. Sending current through the different combinations of coils allows the robot's arms to bend and flex in all sorts of ways. Now it was time to make a different kind of arm, one that would help the robot crawl. Lasky's team noticed that the octopus's unique muscular structure allows it to crawl by stretching and pushing off from the seafloor. They mimicked that locomotion strategy using a simple mechanism. Each robot arm had two interior cables that stretched and shortened to push the robot along. This simple design nonetheless produced a very effective movement. Their next robot, Poseidrone, took on a new challenge, swimming. But swimming is an even more sophisticated movement, and the robot's floppy arms are really hard to control, especially because of the complex dynamics of the water. Surprisingly, Lasky found that the winning strategy was to give up most control. Again, Lasky's team learned from the real octopus. Biologists know that when an octopus moves its arm, its brain isn't controlling the whole process. Instead, a lot of the control is delegated to the peripheral nervous system. Its limbs respond to its environment almost like a reflex, based on the physical properties of its body, the density of the water, the speed of the current, and many other ocean variables. This concept is called embodied intelligence. As Lasky's team designed Poseidrone, they created models of how it would behave based on fluid dynamics, buoyancy, and dozens of other factors. This all meant that the robot barely had to think. Its arms were built ready to respond to its environment without any additional computing. So by the time they threw the robot into the water, it was already a natural swimmer. Thank you.